This program asks us to generate a number between a random number between one and five. Because we're working with random numbers, the first thing that we do, import random. Then it says ask the user to guess a number, and then we keep asking the user to guess a number until they type no. So because this is condition controlled, we're going to create a variable called start and set that to true. And then we also need a score variable and set it to zero because we need to keep track of the score. Because it says add a point to a score variable when they get it right and take a point away when they get it wrong. So then we use a while loop while start is equal to true. This allows us to start a while while loop. Now once we started our while loop we can generate the random number. So we create um, a variable called number and we generate a random number between one and five as it says in the question. Then we need to ask the user to guess that number. So one, this is set to an integer because it's going to be a number that they need to guess. Once we've done that, we need to create an if statement. So if the guess is correct, so if the guess is equal to number, which means it's correct, then what we need to do is we need to display correct and we also need to add a point to score variable. Otherwise, so if it's obviously if it's if it's correct, then we add score then if it's not correct, then it has to be incorrect. So with, with that, we use else, and now we print incorrect, and then we also deduct one point away. Now, it also says the game will repeat until the user says no. So what we need to do now is we need to ask them if they want to play again. So to do that, we need to create a variable. We can call it carry, and then we need to ask them if they want to play again. Now, with that, we just need one if, if the car, if carry is equal to no. So if they said no, they don't want to play again, then what we need to do, we need to break out of the loop. To break out of the loop, we need to set start to false because start is equal to true. That's when the loop starts. As long as this is correct, then the loop will start. But by setting it to false, this will break the loop. Now, once the loop is broken, we go back to the main program, so we remove the indentation and we display the final score. 